I know it sounds so bizarre, but last night, Lancelot carried me away, and I wasn't even in any danger. He took me to the place where he lives, and it was so exhilarating. I can't even explain it. You know, I really think I'm the only woman he's let in this much. <laughs> he told me I'm beautiful, and when he touched me, it was electric. I don't know what it is, but there's something about him I can't let go. And the funny thing is, I think he feels the same way about me. Karen. Hey. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to start you. No, it, it's okay. I was just talking to my best friend. Well, you know, I understand I do. I do the same thing. I talk to her all the time. I could always talk to her about a, a lot of things. Yeah, I, I, I think she'd probably like knowing that that we talk to each other, you know? We talk? No, I know we talk, but I, I mean, you know, talk about the important things. Are you okay? Are you fine? Yeah, everything's fine. I seem a little jumpy, that's all. Oh, well, you just startled me, you know, and we are in a cemetery and it's getting a little dark. Yeah, no, I know all that. I just, I, I, I thought maybe it was something else. I heard that you had some interaction with this, uh, this Lancelot thing. It was nothing significant. You know, I, I really should head back to the hospital, and you probably want some time alone with Eve. I'll see you later. Yeah. Whoa, 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 what, what's, what's going on here? Um, I, uh, I just, I, I felt a little dizzy, so Frank you grabbed just, my I, arm to okay? steady me. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Were you just yelling at her? Because I thought that's what I heard. No, no, honey, sweet, he, he was just wanting me to, to be safe. Your wife shouldn't be wandering around the park at night. Yeah, why are you here? I thought you were home resting. Because I wanted to see you. Okay, then then call me. Okay, you have to be careful. You should listen to your husband, Livy. I would hate to see anything happen to you or your baby. Yeah, th thanks for watching after, Frank. No problem. He's right. You know, you shouldn't be out here. I know, Rafe, but I, I wasn't thinking. I was just really scared, I and I, I wanted know, to be I with know, you. I know, I know you're scared. But you know what? This is all going to be over soon. What do you mean? I found a way to get rid of the Avatar. Ah, uh, nothing like a good old-fashioned seance to get some answers. All right, Ed, I think I'm going to be able to reach you, and then you can explain this whole thing to me. I mean, after all, you are Rafe's boss in heaven, and you can tell me what is going on, why did Rafe come back, and why is he with Livy instead of Allison? Oh, no, Doc wasn't supposed to come for me yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, well, what have we here? Um, the electricity went out. Nice try, Lucy, but I know exactly what you're up to. You do? Oh, Doc, listen, I can explain and I this. I love you for it. I just love it when you plan a seduction, you sexy wench. Mm. Mm. lip balm and sunscreen you wanted. Enough for two trips to Bermuda. Thanks. Cool. And uh, what's wrong? I just, um, I don't know. I can't figure out what to take. Okay, well, it's really not that big of a deal. They're gonna provide what they want you to model. I know. Um, I'm starting to think that maybe this is not a good idea. What? I'm kind of Rethinking the whole Bermuda oh, okay. trip. Okay, is this because of the one bedroom condo? Because they thought we were together, but we're not. So there's. So. So we're gonna go there and we're gonna have fun. We're gonna do this gig and it's really not a big deal. We're staying in the same room, Jack. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> there, there's a bedroom and there's a living room. 
I will sleep on the couch. Oh, get real, Jack. <laughs> Allison, this is really not a big deal. Yes, it is a big deal because I think that you think we're going to sleep together. You know how to stop the Avatar? I think his shroud is the key. His shroud? I'm convinced it's what's protecting him. It's, it's the source of his power, but it's also the source of his weakness if we can just get it off him. Well, how are you going to do that? Ian and I think we can trap him. No, 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 no. You can't do that. You're going you're gonna to make him angry, and then he will, he'll, he'll just, uh... What? Or what? Ah, that's just it. Rape, I don't know. My God, he's already come... He's already come after me and the baby. Okay, I know, and you, you don't have to worry about that. I'll make sure you're nowhere near where this is going to go down, okay? Yeah, but but you're, you're still going to be I know. there. Livy, Livy, I have to do you. this. Okay, but we already know what the Avatar does when, when, when he's pushed. Not he can be so cruel. Exactly. He's threatened my family. I can't let him do that again. Okay. Okay, I will be more careful, and I won't go out alone. Please, we'll move no, no, or something. Stop. I, I can't take any more chances. You're taking the biggest chance ever by going after him. I know what I'm doing, all right? It'll be okay. And what if it's not okay? I'm what sorry. if it doesn't There are work? no other options. I, I just think knowing what protects the Avatar and stopping it are two totally different things. How are you even going to get close enough to him to, to, to do that? I may have an answer for that. I need to talk to you in private for one moment. No, no, absolutely not. If this has anything to do with the Avatar, I need to know. No, you don't. She's really terrified, Ian. You can understand. That's another reason not to talk about the Avatar in front of her. Ian, I am not a child anymore. If there's any danger out there, I, I want to know about it. No one's calling you a child. And yes, there is danger out there. What I'm telling you is that Rafe and I can handle it. Trust in that, would you please? Trust? Yeah, maybe, maybe if I weren't carrying a child, but I am, I'm carrying our baby now, Ian, and I've got responsibilities. You out of anyone should understand that. So if this monster is after me and our baby, I want to know. Okay. Let's keep this between the three of us. Of course. Our ticket to the Avatar is Karen Wexler. If it is, I, I need to see you, talk to you. Oh, mm. Lucy, mm. I have to hand it to you. You sure know how to plan a seduction. <laughs> I mean, the, the light, the candles. Ooh, those are Romans. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's Christina? Oh, uh, she's she's with Scott. She's with Serena. They're going to have a little sleepover. Oh, you thought of everything. I try. <laughs> oh, it looks like I kind of interrupted the lighting of the candles, the spreading of the pillows thing, didn't I? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, right. Just one thing I, I don't get. Oh, oh, really? What, what's that? I was supposed to be at a meeting tonight. How did you know that I'd be here? Uh, it hit me. I mean, I felt it. You know how I get those psychic telegrams that just... I, I felt it. Someone called and told you the meeting was canceled, didn't they? I'll never tell. <laughs> well, you just come over here then. Oh, I tell you what. This uh, is exactly what I needed tonight. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, you actually really deserve this, too. I just wish I'd thought of... The sooner. I, I'm really sorry. No, no, I'm sorry. You know, I've been so preoccupied with Livy's problems and, and now this Lancelot thing. I, I haven't exactly been available. That's okay. You know what? We are here right now together, just us. All I want to do is focus on you, a night at home, mm. just the two of us. That sounds really good. Mm. Mm. You know? Mm. Well, this feels really, really good, too. Mm -hmm. We can't let other issues keep us from things like this. Oh, no, we can't. No. No, 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 no. no. Or this. Oh, you know what? 
We haven't done that in a very long time. Oh, well, that's just the beginning. We're going to sleep together in Bermuda. No, that's what I think you think. <laughs> well, Allison, I mean, just because you're this hot new model doesn't mean every guy wants to sleep with you. Okay, maybe it does. But I'm not that kind of a guy, and it never occurred to me. It never occurred to you once? I don't believe that for a second. You know, I, I, you're, um, what, what do psychologists call it? Um, oh, projecting. Projecting? Mm-hmm. Because you cannot get out of your mind that you want to jump my bones. Jack. Now, I'm flattered. I really am. But, Allison, I'm not that kind of a guy. I, I like to take walks on the beach and stay up all night talking, eating ice cream. Stop joking around. I'm... Whoa, hey, who's joking? Be yeah. serious. You weren't thinking about it for just one second? Okay. I'm sorry. But, um... Uh... Knock it off. What? Knock it off. Well, you can joke about it all you want, but I thought about it. You thought about it? Yeah. Me. I mean, come on. We're on a really beautiful island, and it's very tropical and warm, and, um, you know, I'd be crazy not to. Gals, I'm not trying to put any pressure on you. I do think there might be something between us, but... This is not an excuse to make a move on you. I want us to go have fun, all right, and, and, and do this gig. And the last thing I want to do is stress you out. That's the last thing I want to do. I want you to be happy. Mm. So sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Well, since I'm so sweet, why don't we go back to the part where you've thought about it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lucky to have you in my life. <laughs> You are lucky.